we're going to do, man. <laughs> Okay, so last week we made this sound. Oh, very cool sound. But I told you guys that next week or soon I will show you how I made the wave table because if I export the wave table, which I use up here, come on, open Serum, where are you? Here is it. So if I go and export it, like 16 bit. Let's go to table. I already exported it, but right now I'm going to override it. So this way I'm proving you that this is not a fake. Um, you cannot. Uh, uh, okay, let's rename it or give another name it like table two. So I'm not faking anything. I need to show you guys that here is the table two wave table. Uh, let's put it here. And obviously it is on a very low frequency very low note and if I push it up to like 15 so this was a wave table now here is the source for it so this is the original sound that I imported into Serum I'm sure you can recognize that this is the very same sound okay so let's jump into it and analyze the sound I made it in operator we don't need this stuff, only this. So this is the main operator. So let's analyze it. I'm using three different oscillators. I'm calling them oscillators because I'm not going to FM them. Like they are not in FM chains together. They are not FMing themselves. I'm using only one operator as a frequency modulator, but right now for all the other oscillators. So I'm frequency modulating oscillator A, B and C with D. Okay, so it is not very complicated. If you have a look on this pictogram, you can easily analyze the sound, especially on this pictogram, because you can see that operator D, you can see it on the color, is connected to A, B, and C. So basically, this is the chain. Now, let's check. I'm using a sort of higher frequency. So oscillator A or operator A is on course 15, and it is a regular square wave, so square D. Operator D is slightly detuned and it's another square wave, but this time on a little, little <laughs> lower frequency on course one. And operator C is on course two and again, where I would say highly detuned. Okay, and it is again a square wave. So we are using detuned square waves, but different, very different square waves in frequency. And I'm using a sine wave and right now again a very high frequency sine wave to modulate all the other oscillators. Do you struggle with sound design, bass, and song arrangement? If so, Let Synthesize Academy can help. Let Synthesize offers lessons to producers who want to truly improve their skills and learn more about the industry, rather than just watch a short tutorial. We have just released a course on how to learn rhythm in virtual riot style, which is something you won't be able to find anywhere else. Improve your skills and learn in a fun environment. Meet like-minded people while you're at it and enjoy the course. More will be released shortly. Virtual Riot himself recommends you to this course also. So don't waste more time. Click on the link in the description for more information and to sign up today. Okay, now it's a very important part here. It's a low pass filter the sound. So as you can see, I'm using a low pass filter in 24 decibels of roll of rate. And uh, well, just a slight resonance. And actually what I'm doing, I'm using a sine shape LFO on synchronized mode, you know, to drag the cutoff, the frequency cutoff back and forth basically, by this creating a sort of movement to the sound, like a wobble. And Basically, this is it. I'm applying a very slight shaper on the filter, so it is in soft, and I crank it out to, well, around 8 decibels. So, right now, without all the effects, which actually are not too much, let me just group them and deactivate them. So, without the effects, this is how it sounds. Weird. And without the filter... Ear bleeding. 
Uh, so we definitely need a feeder. Now the other trick that you definitely want to know is the notes. So this is a bass sound obviously, but I'm using a very weird note here. And actually this is a common technique if you want to create, well, these exciting kind of drum and bass sounds. So I'm using an F sharp zero, but I added a G zero again and one octave higher note. So let me deactivate the two additional notes and let's just check how it sounds only on F sharp zero. It's not a bad sound on itself, but if I add one more note, The whole sound turns into a very neuroish kind of tone, like, you know, those mystical, detuned kind of stuff. Which actually has a tonality, but it is very, very weird. I can't really describe it better. It's just neuroish, you know. And especially if I add one more. It will give more where I would say middle bass frequency, middle bass energy to it. So this is how it sounds. So with and without these additional notes. So the MIDI, the notes are very important here. So let's check the notes. We have the chorus. I have a utility tool to pull back the gain a little because it is very, very loud. Um, I don't know why, it's just loud. <laughs> because we love loud sounds. Okay, I'm not using a phaser here, but maybe if we activate it, it can be an interesting change to the sound. Okay, an overdrive, and this is very important here. Oh, I messed it up. I just wanted to activate all the effects one by one. So we don't need a phaser. So from this point, the sound is very, very dull but adding an overdrive and only on the top area, the high frequency area, it turns the sound into a very, very cool sound. Add some more harmonics, add some more smoothness to the sound, basically. Okay, a flanger to add more harmonics. An EQ8. To add some tops and cut a little on the middles. Okay, a multiband compression preset for the multiband dynamics device. And a touch of OTT to it, like at around 50%. Okay, and a utility tool to, to make the low and mono. It is important. Okay, and basically when we made this sound, I exported it into a wave format, put it into Serum, and as I told you in the beginning of the video, I made this sound. Very cool. And one more time, this, this huge little musical idea. Oh, what we're gonna do, man? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you are interested in the preset or in this whole rack, go check the descriptions and see you guys next time. Peace.